Have his ear. Loyal. Regal. Imperial? August? <laughs> Majestic. You know something? There just isn't any better way to put it than... Would you like to be queen for a day? Once again, from Hollywood's great Moulin Rouge Theater Restaurant, Pan American Coffee Bureau, who says, On a break, make it coffee, make it often, make it right. x lax the laxity that helps you towards your normal regularity gently overnight, and Heart Mountain, the pet product for happier, healthier pets, proudly present Queen for Today, the Cinderella show, starring the one and only king of Queen for Today, Mr. Jack Bailey. Thank you very much. Hey. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Welcome to the next showroom once again. And you know, incidentally, I slipped past the word imperial in this dictionary a minute ago. I shouldn't have because it reminds me that our gold imperial from Chrysler He's waiting outside the Moulin Rouge, and it's waiting to take today's queen on a really big day in movie land. She has to be one of the four candidates that we'll be meeting on our show today, and we'll say hello to number one in just a moment. But first, keeping your cat playful as a kitten is easy. To tell you how, here's a word about Hearts Mountain. Now, here's a happy cat. What's he so happy about? Why, brand new Hearts Mountain cat yummy. You know, giving your cat or kitten a few yummies between meals is just about the nicest thing you can do for him. That's because new cat yummies are tempting little tidbits specially made from fish, liver, meal, and cereal. The foods and flavors cats and kittens just can't resist. Now, cat yummies are nourishing, too, and good for your pet. Veterinarian approved and made without sugar, they give your cat the extra vitamins and minerals between meals that will make him more playful, more frolicsome, and more fun as a pet. So be nice to your pet in the nicest way of all. Keep a package of Heart Mountain Cat Yummies on hand always. And say, if you have a dog, remember him between meals with Heart Mountain Dog Yummies, the candy-like treat that all dogs love. Look for Heart Mountain Dog Yummies and new Heart Mountain Cat Yummies in the bright orange packages wherever pet products are sold. Made only by Heart Mountain. Ed, you got me a nice lady here to visit with. I want to thank you. How do you feel, Viva? Good. Bert? Right. B-I-R-C-H. Well, that's nice. Where are you from, Viva? In Berlino. Yeah, you lived there all your life? Oh, 13 years. Were you born around here? Missouri. <laughs> what, what town? Framer, Missouri. Yeah? And what's Mr. Bert to do up there in San Bernardino? He's a salesman. Yeah? What do you sell? Well, he tries to sell money. <laughs> But people don't seem to have it now to sell. <laughs> oh, he's an investment broker without any brokering, huh? How about children? I have two. Good for you. How old are they? Uh, Thirteen and five. Well, that's just wonderful. Now, Miss Burke, I think your wish has something to do with one of the children, or both. Yes. Huh? My boy. Yeah, what's his name? John Vernon. Old John? What's the matter with old John? Well, he's crippled up with cerebral palsy. Is that so? Yes, sir. And he's uh, now how old? Thirteen? Thirteen. Yeah, he's had it quite a while. How can we help John? Well, he needs a wheelchair, and he needs a special bike for exercising. Yeah. Had you promised him this by any chance? Yes, I had. Well, why didn't you keep your promises, Ma? Well, I had to go to the hospital and have my legs operated on, had to quit working. And... What were you doing? Waitress work. Oh, boy. <laughs> 25 <laughs> that... years, I was. <laughs> 25 years, and that did it to your legs? It sure did. Did you work up in San Bernardino? Yes. Mm -hmm. And now you have to take it a little easier yourself. Well, I can't work. I keep my promise. <laughs> well, I bet you would keep your promise. Now, he's a 13-year-old boy, then he wants... Do you want a sort of a special bike? Uh, well, he needs it for exercising his legs. He's had quite a lot of surgery done, and yeah. they, they uh, require exercise. You bet your life. And a special wheelchair, and a, and a special bike, and a wheelchair. You have to stay home all the time. <laughs> you bet your life. Now, the other <laughs> child okay? Oh, she's fine. That's great. You got one that needs a little special help. And if you're Vera Birch, Viva Birch, if you're our queen... We're going to get a wheelchair and the special bike, okay? Thank you. And you keep well yourself. Goodbye, Viva. Thank you very much. <laughs> you need a little help there with that boy. You know, we try to see that our queens get in on as many firsts as they possibly can. And believe you me, there's a dandy in store for today's royal lady. In fact, she'll have her own private screening of one of the most spectacular motion pictures ever made. 
The picture is Spartacus, the dramatic story of history's first freedom fighter, starring Kirk Douglas, Lawrence Olivier, Gene Simmons, Charles Lawton, Peter Ustinoff, John Cavan, and Tony Curtis. And like I said before, our queen today will have her own personal preview. And now before we meet candidate number two, why don't you watch this? To brighten any moment. Make it coffee. To enjoy that fresh aroma. Make it often. Make it up fresh each time in a clean container and for full flavor. Make it right. And here's how. For each cup of fresh drawn water, use one approved measure of your favorite coffee. That's all. One approved measure per cup. Satisfying cups of pleasure. A coffee break makes a moment right. Look who we've got here. you got a nice smile, and you and I know something a lot of other people know that the audience don't know about you. But we better find out who you are first. Kay McGrath? That's right. Where's your home? Canoga Park. And you, uh, uh, Mr. McGrath, lived there quite a while? Uh, the nine years we've been married. Good for you. Now, you turn around and tell everybody what just happened a couple, three months ago at your house. Well, we have uh, uh, baby triplet girls. <laughs> Triplets. And how many children did you have before the three got here? Uh, four others. So uh, that's four and three is seven. That's right. I hope that's a lucky seven for you. What's Mr. McGrath do? Uh, he's a carpenter maintenance uh, man for the Board of Education. He's a sawer and a hammer. Yes. And he comes home with dirty overhauls and a big appetite. Yes, and it, he's up all night, too. <laughs> and with the triplets, I think the whole family's up. Pretty much so. Yeah. Now, how are the little fellas? Are they identical trio, uh, triplets? Well, we have been told that they will be. Yeah. Of course, Bonnie is a little behind because she was in the children's hospital for two months. Oh, one of them had to stay behind. Yes. She's a little slower. That's right. I have her home with me now. Good. And then she's scheduled to go back in in six weeks when we have her up, about six weeks when we have her up to 15 pounds. Yeah. How much did the little fellas weigh when they got here? Well, one was three, three, <laughs> and uh, three, 14 and a half. And Bonnie was 5'9". She was my biggest one. And she's the one who's been kind of sick. That's right. Now, are the girls or boys? They're all girls. All three girls. That's right. Oh, I'll bet old dad's down there strutting around. I should say. You've, uh, well, let me ask you this. Now, if you're like the queen for a day, uh, you can't go on a trip, I don't suppose. What would you like? Well, I would like diaper service. Uh, <laughs> are any of the other kids still in diapers? Well, my two-year-old isn't completely trained. Uh-huh. Uh, we're working on it, so... <laughs> Slow but sure. That's right. And along comes the three, and that's a lot of diapers, Ma. It is, and Bonnie requires special care for a while. All right. And we hope it'll be over in six weeks. It seems like you could use a few extra minutes yourself uh, with that's, these children. That's the idea. <laughs> but you're alive. Well, if you're elected queen, diaper service you get for the uh, triplets and... the. Uh, and uh, good luck with you now, and take care of that other little fella, huh? Thank you very much. Sure. Thank you. That's your life. And now, here to tell us about Her Majesty's royal wardrobe is our own first lady of fashion, Miss Jean Cagney. That's uh, right here. That's Jean there. Hello, Jean. Hello. Hello, Jack. Thank you. Colors as rich and exciting as a Persian tapestry, and an, oh, an exotic touch to our fashion today. And each is from one of the famous designers who allowed to our queen. For instance, a gaily printed belt sparks the deep olive of the shirtwaist by Serban in Miami. The slim line is emphasized by a twin row of buttons and baby doll sleeves. Her Majesty will travel in beauty anywhere with this quick tripper of cosmetics in the individualized studios of Merle Norman, including this creamy, smooth powder base. Bell sleeves, outlined in black, add interest to this cardigan neck dress, Marjorie Montgomery of California style did a black and white tweed with a flaring gourd skirt. Now, Royal Lady's watch combines lifetime accuracy with timeless beauty. And diamonds flash from the tiny crowns of the Queen for a Day by Helbros. Nardis of Dallas chose antique gold tones for this slim skirt and belted jerkin. Note the pockets on the full peplum. And with it, jewel tones of red and black in a horizontally striped jersey. 
There are styles for every occasion in the lovely shoes by Grace Walker, and Her Majesty will have a whole array. Each pair fits for a queen. Persian shades of olive and mustard form the batik print of this charming poncho, and like all our queen's blouses from ship and shore, this cotton needs little or no ironing. There are delicate colors to rival an oriental print, and the pairs and pairs of lovely nylon that Her Majesty will have from the magic motion knit looms of Mojud. And for afternoon into evening charm, Abe Reines fashioned this suit of black wool. The swim skirt is topped by a brief jacket piped in ebony satin. Flashing rhinestones set in silvery starburst form this delicate threesome from Sarah Coventry. You lend a hint of stardust to your favorite ensemble. White satin gleams under gold-colored lace for dusk to dawn in Chapman in this Cocktail dress from Mr. Morse. A belt of satin circles the waist above a floating skirt. My clothes are from Irene Somerset of the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel, and fashions from these same designers will add an exotic charm to the bright future of our queen today. Constipation can be a problem for anyone. And when constipation occurs, it's interesting to see just what doctors consider important about a laxative they might use or recommend. Well, a majority of the doctors we heard from said they wanted a laxative that is effective, gentle, close to natural acting. A medicine that can be used with complete confidence. Now, X-Lax has been used with complete confidence by many doctors and millions of people over the years because... Pleasant-tasting chocolate and X-Lax is effective. Overnight, it helps you toward your normal regularity. X-Lax is so gentle, so close to natural acting, there's no upset, no discomfort. So whenever your normal regularity is interrupted, you can rely on X-Lax, the laxative that helps you toward your normal regularity, gently, overnight. X-Lax. Now we're going to talk to candidate number three. I'm glad to see you. And I'm, I hope you're not too shook up about being here. How do you spell your first name? Marguerite. M-A-R-G-U-E-R-I-T-E. I wish you could see.